Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making Salisbury steak casserole in the Ninja Speedy. Alright, I'm starting out in my Ninja Speedy. I've set on saute and it's hot. I'm going to put in a quarter of a stick of butter and I'm going to add in a little bit of olive oil. It's going to help fortify the butter a little bit. And I'm going to give that a stir, get that all blended around. And it's going to be a really quick, easy, and delicious meal. And if you don't have an Ninja Speedy, this, uh, these steps here you can do on the stove top in a skillet. So not to worry. Alright, now I have one medium onion I sliced. That's going to go in. And I have an 8 ounce container of sliced mushrooms. They're going to go in. Well, I'm going to allow this to saute for a few minutes, five or six minutes or so, so the onions are translucent and the mushrooms are softened up. Right now that my onions and mushrooms are sauteed and soft, I pulled them out and set them aside. I'm going to add in some ground beef. And this is a big family size pack. I'm not using all of it. I'm only going to use about two pounds of it. So I'm going to get that into the hot, speedy. And we're going to brown this ground beef up. So it's nice and brown. And it's not lean ground beef, so I'm going to have to drain off the excess fat. So right now that my ground beef is browned up and I drained it, I'm going to season it. I'm going to use some of this McCormick's Himalayan pink sea salt, black pepper, and garlic. If you don't have this, just use salt, pepper, and some garlic powder or granulated garlic. And I'm only going to put in about a half a teaspoon. And I have some onion soup mix. We're going to put half of that in the ground beef. Give that a stir, get it all blended together. All right, in a large bowl, I have a quarter of a cup of flour. To that, I'm gonna add a 10 and a half ounce can of cream of mushroom soup. This is gonna make the nice creamy sauce for our casserole. All right, now I'm gonna add in about three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to add in the rest of that onion soup mix. I'm going to put a little more of my McCormick seasoning in there, about a quarter of a teaspoon. And I have a 15 ounce can of French style green beans. I'm going to drain the juice off right into our mixture. About half of the juice, not all of it. I'm going to give this a stir. Get it all blended together. All right, now that I have my ground beef all nice and evened out. I'm going to take that cream soup mixture we made and I'm going to dump that in over top of the ground beef. And I'm going to take my spoon and even it out. So it covers all of your ground beef. I'm going to take my mushrooms and onions that we did in the beginning of the video, put them down over top of the ground beef in the soup mix. Smear them out nice and even. And guys, it's smelling good in here. I'm going to take those green beans that I drained completely, spread them over top of the meat and soup mixture. Now I have some mashed potatoes here whipped up. We're going to put them on top. You just want to get them all on there. Right now I have my mashed potatoes all on there, I'm going to even them out, so make them nice and smooth on top. And this is roughly about five to six cups of mashed potatoes. You can make yours a little thinner if you like, you don't have to have them so thick, but thick never hurts. Okay. Now I'm going to close my lid down on my Speedy and make sure we're set on air fry, which we are. 
All right, I'm going to turn my speedy on, and over on the air fryer settings, I'm going to switch it to the bake roast setting. Now that's set at 325. I'm going to leave it there because I don't want my potatoes to get brown before everything heats through. I don't want them brown too fast. I'm going to set this for 10 minutes, but I'm sure it's not going to take 10 minutes. I'll keep an eye on it. All right, guys, this is done. It took the full 10 minutes because I had the temperature down to 325. If you want to make it go a little faster, bump it up to 350. But I've never done this in a speedy before, so I'm not sure what the setting should be at. This is ready to go. Let's go ahead and fix up a plate and see what we got. I went ahead and garnished that with a little fresh parsley for some color and a little added flavor. Let me get in here and try this. Some of this beef and the potatoes. It's really good. Good flavor. Well seasoned. Beefy. Potatoes are creamy. That's really good guys and it wasn't hard at all. A real quick meal. All right, there you have it. Salisbury Steak Casserole and Ninja Speedy. Thanks for watching, supporting me. God bless. And remember, love what you eat and eat what you love.